Statistics indicate that in Ghana, over 70% of electronic imports are second-hand. Ghana, like other developing countries, lack proper recycling facilities to manage this influx, thus most defense machines go to the Agbogoloshi and other scrapyards where they are bent to extract useful metals. The process is toxic, dirty and an environmental nightmare. To curb this health threat, Green Advocacy Ghana, an environmental NGO with support from Blacksmith Institute USA, has introduced eight different environmentally friendly machines to extract copper without burning. Two years ago, a year ago, we conducted um, blood level samples, we also did air sampling, soil sampling, and it showed that it got a lot of lead in their blood, toxic levels, and overall it could damage their nervous system, reproductive system, their health as a whole. And as you see, they want to stop it. They want to stop the burning. It's just they need the solutions there. The scrap dealers were trained on the new technology. An added advantage is that copper derived from this method is deoxidized, which has greater value than copper extracted manually. The scrap dealers were excited about the introduction and want government to support the efforts. I prefer this because the burning tree is something that is damaging our health. We can, during the burning, you see that you, you, you have a headache and uh, all those things. And you even have uh, a polo, something like that. Uh -huh. So in the night, you feel hot. So this here can help us a lot. The NGO Green Advocacy is also calling on corporate bodies to get on board to completely phase out the burning method, which has serious health implications to Ghanaians at large. Sarah Ferreji, Metro News, Accra.